hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time welcome go ahead and hit up that subscribe button for me it's free and i appreciate the support we're gonna talk about jennifer lopez and what she's been up to how she's been working the media jennifer lopez has been doing what she does best which is being a fake the last video i did on her was when she was house hunting and while i was in the middle of editing the video news broke out that her and ben affleck are heading for a divorce and he already moved out and i was like oh my gosh jennifer was so humiliated you guys she was embarrassed she was having like panic attacks right but it was ben source that came out and put the news out and she was not expecting for Ben to put it out there yet. Now they're saying the source was Ben's mother. Yeah, because you know, she never liked Jennifer Lopez. She never liked her. The mother never liked her, right? So, so she was freaking out. She was panicking. So guess what she did? She knew that Ben Affleck's uh, daughter, right, had an event, like a play, a school play. Guess what she did? She grabbed her daughter, Emma, and then she went to where Ben was. He was not expecting her. She came with rose, with flowers, just like he did for, for his daughter. So she came uninvited to the school play for Ben's daughter. So he was cool. You see pictures where he's like, you know, she was trying to look all, keep it cool and calm, but... I'm telling you, he was upset. He was upset, right? So guess what he did? She purposely left her car so he could drop her off so the paparazzi could see them in the same car because she was having a panic attack because the news came out too early, right? So, so she made Ben drop her off at her house, well, their house, the one that he left, right? So that's why you see paparazzi pictures where you see him dropping her off because she said something about her car not working. <laughs> I don't know, but she drove there. But for some reason, her car could not make it back. Okay, so Ben had to drop her off along with Emma back to their house, right? And then after Ben dropped J-Lo off, Ben went back to that rental that he's staying in, okay? So you see the mind games that she's playing? But that's not it. There's more. So the next time you see Ben Affleck with no ring, no ring, he was so mad with, with the way she did that, that she just came out of nowhere, just like, you know, forced herself there, right? So he was so pissed. He was like, I'm going to show her, right? So he took off the ring. So he was pictured without the ring. Oh, my gosh. She went nuts. She went crazy. So she, was, she went off on him. So, okay. So when he finally calmed her down, they talked, right? And she said, listen, I have a movie coming out. I understand you want to divorce me. I get it. But please, for the sake of this movie, I don't want it to take over the, uh, you know, get all the attention instead of the movie. Okay? So please, just, you know, give me, you know, a few weeks. Okay? Put the ring back on your, on your finger. Right? So, because every, everybody was talking about that, you know, without his ring. You know? And she still had hers on. You know, pretending. Yeah. So she had to plead with him. She nah, she was begging him. Listen, please, listen. Okay? After the tour, after the promotional tour, right? Because she's on, she's been trying to promote the movie. She's like, just after that, you can, you know, do whatever. But right now, please, I do not want all that negative attention to be about the divorce. So guess what he did? He's like, okay, fine. So that's what happened. So she wanted more. So she said, let's go out to dinner so they can see that, you know, we're not on bad terms, right? 
So the next day, they went out to dinner and they picked a very public, popular restaurant. But look at the picture. You see, when she's walking, she just looked nervous. It looks awkward. Like she's just hanging on to every word he's saying for the first time. Like she's like just so happy that he's doing her this favor. So she's like, okay,、uh, yeah.、Uh-huh. Like that's the look I'm getting. Okay. But you guys, listen. So he dropped her off again to their house when he, and he went back to his rental. So then the following day, she had the movie premiere and she went by herself once again, right? But guess what she did? She had Netflix ban the media from asking her questions about her and Ben divorcing. Okay. So they were banned from asking that. They couldn't ask her any personal questions. And guess what else she did? She only did group interviews with her other co-stars. So she didn't do no solo interview. So she was with the co-stars. <laughs> she only did group interviews. You know why? Because a few days prior to the premiere, she went to Mexico, and this reporter from Mexico, he was doing his job. He asked her straight up, Jennifer Lopez, are you and Ben Affleck divorcing? Is it real? Is it true? He was like, you know better than that. You don't ask me that. You know I'm from the Bronx. I don't play that. He was like, wait, what? I'm just doing my job. She's like, no, 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 no. You don't do that. I'm Boricua. You don't do that. No, no, no. You out of order. He's like, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, they had to get her out of there. She lost it. Okay, that is why they banned. Like all the media outlets could not ask her any questions because of that guy in Mexico. Okay, crazy, right? So, oh, guess what? Before I forget, on Mother's Day, do you know they were both in L.A. Ben and J Lo. They were both in L.A. and he did not see her. He stayed in that rental, you know, ordering McDonald's, and she was with her kids. And I think she went out to dinner with her mother. That's it. They were both in LA, and he did not acknowledge her. He didn't make a post. He didn't do anything. He was just eating McDonald's in that rental. So the divorce is official. It's a wrap. Oh, before I go, let me tell you another insider told Page Six this: If there was a way to divorce on grounds of temporary insanity, he would. He feels like the last two years was just a fever dream, and he's come to his senses now and understands there is just no way this is going to work. An insider told Page Six, "Hey, wait, 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 hold on. He's come to his senses now, and if there's a way to divorce on grounds of temporary insanity, are they saying that Jennifer Lopez drove him insane? Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is crazy." I bet you the insider is Ben Affleck's mother, or maybe it's the ex-wife, <laughs> Jennifer Garner. It's one of them. Okay, I'm telling you, it's one of them. But I think it is the mother. Oh, she don't like J Lo. She don't like her at all. Oh my gosh, this is crazy, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> please like, please subscribe, and please share. Wait, I said it all backward. Please like, please share, and please subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.